Hi everyone. This is Techy Anshi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how you can build 10 different types of donut charts using only shapes in Tableau without using any calculations. So let's get started. We are going to use the sample superstore data to connect and build these visualizations. The first one is how to build a simple donut chart in Tableau. So for that, I'm going to pull the segment to the columns. Next, I'm going to put the sum of sales into the rows. From show me, I'm picking up a pie, fitting this to an entire view and formatting the background to black. We would need two markers in the rows, which is min of zero is what I'm creating as calculation. I'm hiding any grid lines or additional lines on this viz because that's something I don't want. Okay, so right now I'm creating this as a dual axis chart, synchronizing both the axes and increasing the size of the pie. Now you can see there are two marks that are available. I'm just editing the label and making this like a simple pie, right? I'm just uh, editing the labels over here as well. Next, let's go ahead and edit the colors using the segment onto the color shelf, edit the color and use any color of your choice. From the second marks card, remove everything. Now, reduce the size of this particular pie. With that, you can see there is a kind of a hole that's created. So this is a simple trick in Tableau, right? What we are doing over here is we are just overlapping two marks over one another and decreasing the size of the one that is on top so that you feel like it is a donut, but in actual, it is not. On that note, let's go ahead and build the next one, which is an infographic donut, for which instead of having a hollow in between the donut, we are going to use a nice image. Let's remove the text and instead of pie, let's pick the shape on the second max card. Let's pick any shape. I have already an infographic that I already created before this. So I'm just going to use that. Make sure that it is circular so that it fits in well inside of the donut. Let's go ahead, create the next one, which is a gradient donut. Before we get into this, it is important for us to understand how you can build this particular one. So for that, I'm heading over to a presentation. In the PowerPoint presentation, navigate to the insert menu and insert a quick shape, which is the circle. Make sure you fill this shape with the gradient color like how I'm doing it right now. I'm giving it a nice gradient of starting from a light gray to a dark black and I'm saving this in my shapes. Now heading to the Tableau using the shapes and picking the one that we just added reloading the shape and there i have my shape and let's pick that once you pick your shape and click apply you see how the border around this particular circle helps us give this like a moon like effect and also the gradient makes it look great make sure that the outer donut is thin enough so that it looks like a halo around that moon right this is the gradient thin donut chart that we just created the fourth one would be the dart donut for this we are going to create three concentric circles in a presentation so for this i am creating three circles make sure that the height and width of the circles are same and then they are concentric that means their centers are all aligned so once done pick the outer two ones and go to merge shape and click on fragment and if you remove the one from the inside you see how this forms like a dart right i'm just going to group this save this as an image in my shapes folder head over to tableau and over here now from the shapes we are going to pick the one that we just created which is the dart one you see how this looks it creates like two circles you can adjust the size and make them look the way you want you can also create three concentric circles and create a more dart like effect using this right so this is how it would look it's your choice the one that you like you can pick that 
The fifth one is donut with 10% marker. It's difficult sometimes to know the percentages associated with the pies. So this is a good trick to use. For this, I've got inspired by DataWiz Canvas and I'm using this shape that they have already on their website. I'm saving this to my shapes folder. Once we are done with that, we'll head over to our Tableau and go and load the shapes again. And yeah, this basically looks like a sun. Okay, so when you adjust the size of this, you see how this starts to look. So this is nothing but, you know, every line around this is just a 10 percent mark so 10 20 30 40 and like that 200 and the entire pie adds up to 100 and it's easy for anybody to understand what is the percentage associated with the pie if you do that our sixth one is a hexagonal donut as the name suggests we are going to use a hexagon as a donut like our previous things i'm just going to use the fragment thing again i have these donuts three concentric ones and then i'm using them as shape inside of my workbook i'm also going to rotate this and show you like two versions of these donuts so one which is horizontal the other is vertical let's duplicate our sheet and let's call this as a hex donut and then reload our shape and here I'll use the one which we created. You only have to adjust the size so that everything falls inside of it. This really looks great. You know, I just love how this looks. Let's duplicate and then also make this for the horizontal donut. And then you see both of these, they look very nice and can really elevate your aesthetics. Seventh one is an iconic donut and for which i'm just going to use a simple icon let's duplicate the infograph over here and then let's call it a donut with a transparent image so for this what are we going to do is we are just going to insert an icon from the icon repo in the presentation i love this astronaut and that's why i'm using it and you see how this looks it doesn't have any background behind just save this as a shape make sure that it is a png and then come over to tableau reload your shapes and instead of a circular image that's in between now we have an icon in between i'm surely loving it the next one is screw it donut for which we are going to use a donut that looks like a screw i have this screw image which i downloaded from google i'm using the same way of making two circles around it and then fragmenting and saving this so all of this i'm doing in presentation so you don't need any additional tools to do any of the things that i'm doing right now load this particular shape and then click on apply click ok and there you go you have your donut that looks like a screw ninth one is a donut with spikes it's very similar to the one that's in the eighth but here we are not going to create that concentric circles rather just going to use that screw image and this is a one which has more spokes around it so let's see how this turns up right i'm just going to use that particular shape just adjust it and then here you have it right so there is your entire wheel and then if you adjust it and then you can see that this is how this turns up right it looks like a, a covid virus but yeah it looks nice you can adjust the opacity as well and make this look however you would want to i just like it the way it is the tenth one which is also my most favorite that's the bulb donut over here i have this bulb already created and if i insert anything that's colored behind it it would take its color so that's what we are going to do we are going to use this bulb as an image over a pie chart and it would give you a bulb like effect so that's it right all of the things that we did uh, today are just simple shapes that you can use over a pie you're just overlapping the pie chart with all these obstructions and making sure that you are able to create these cool looking donuts now there is an additional tip that I have for all of you and for this I'm just going to duplicate our hexagonal donut. On top of this we are just going to use a simple icon. 
right i am using a like icon and if you like this entire video please don't forget to like this and do subscribe to my channel right you can use glow or any kind of shadow over this i like this simple so i'm not going to use anything right so here i have my thumb up on top or the like icon and then i'm just going to group this hexagon with the icon so what would happen is you would not just have a nice hexagon but also have an image in between so let's see how this looks like right i'm just going to pick that and you see how that thumb comes in between and then you can adjust your label to make sure that it doesn't overlap the image and that's how it looks i hope that these 10 different types of donut charts would help you in some way or the other if you liked watching this you can also see the viz on the tableau public profile and you can mark it as your favorite if you like it i hope this was informative and you would try these donut charts for yourself you can reach out to me and i'm always happy to help thank you so much for watching bye bye